Hey, welcome to this motion graphics cheat sheet for After Effects. We're going to go through some tips and tricks and cheats for people getting started with motion graphics. All right, let's go. All right, tip number one is easing. Easing is when things look pretty when they move. Okay, I've made a little animation. It kind of just slides in from the side there. And that is very PowerPointy. What we need to do is fix it up with some easing to make it slide in really pretty. What we do is I'm going to select both of these keyframes, right click one of them, go down to keyframe velocity, and I'm going to put influence 75 on this side, 75 on that side, click OK, and there, they changed the little hourglasses, but watch this when I preview it. We See, looks pretty when it slides in. All right, that is tip number one, easing. Okay, tip number two is motion blur. If anything is moving, make it blurry. Okay, watch this. This is the easing we did before. It moves in, it's nice. Okay, but if we turn this on, motion blur, this is for the whole composition, and then you need to turn it on for each layer that's moving. Now, we've only got one layer. Okay, watch this. When it moves, can you see it's kind of blurry when it moves? Okay, looks nice. It looks a bit better. Let's have a look at this other comp here with a swinging text. Okay, this is one of the classes that we do in my course. Watch this if I... Can you see? Things look good when they're blurry. If I turn it off, they look fine, but not as pretty as when they're blurry. Now, tip number three, snap. Okay, when you're dragging this little playhead along, okay, officially called the CTI, if I drag it along and I want to line up with this keyframe here, it can be very difficult. Okay, but if I hold down shift on my keyboard, holding down, still dragging this guy here, look, hey, he snaps to all the little keyframes. It makes it super easy to get your key, uh, your playhead in the perfect spot. And that is snap. Okay, ready for tip number four? Super zoom! Okay, it means that when you are looking at stuff, you can use these little mountains to go in and out. Okay, but say you get kind of stuck here and I want to go all the way out, I hit colon on my keyboard next to the L key. Okay, just tap it once, zooms all the way in. Okay, I'm at super mega zoom now, I'll tap it again, it goes all the way out. Tap it again, all the way in. You tap it away, all the way out, I can see my whole comp. That's a really handy one, just tap colon. Tip number five, time travel. Okay, instead of going in here and saying, okay, I wanna go to there, I wanna go to two seconds and colon, and then I wanna go to maybe 10 frames and pushing enter, it'll jump to it. What you can do is time travel much quicker. Okay, click on this, I wanna go to four seconds, type in 400 jumps to four seconds hey but now I need to go to frame 15 click in here just type in 15 all over the top it all rearranges it for you so you can jump to any time two seconds and ten frames it'll jump along all right that is time travel tip number six you've got a really crappy laptop and it runs really slow when you're working on jobs okay now to fix that um, a couple things you can do is this one here under full or it might be on auto Force it down to quality. Watch the quality of the text in the, in the comp window. See it got a bit blurry? Now it previews nice and fast, or faster, and it will still render a perfectly high quality one. The other thing you can do is in your preview window here, you might have to tear it off a little bit. I'm gonna make mine a bit bigger. You wanna to go to this one here, it says skip. Instead of trying to render every frame, you can say skip every one and uh, render every second frame. And it just means that it's gonna be a little bit jumpy in your preview, but it will render a whole lot quicker. All right, that's what to do if you've got a really slow, crappy laptop. Tip number eight, what size should my comp be? Pretty much always go to composition, new composition, and you can't go wrong if you go to preset and pick HDTV 1080 25. Okay, all the other ones are special use cases. Pretty much every single time go to this one here, you can't go wrong. Our last super awesome shortcut tip cheat sheet thing is this key here. What it does if you have your mouse hovering above here and you tap it, it makes that screen full. If I hover above the, uh, you've got lots of work going on down here in your timeline, click it, hey, it makes it full screen. Great for the project window, I've got lots of files, tap it, it goes full screen, tap it again, it goes away. Also as part of this course, go to bringyourlaptop.com and go to the resources tab and there will be a downloadable PDF version. All right, that's our quick cheat sheet awesomeness for motion graphics people getting started. And remember, if you wanna do a full course, if you're just getting into it, is to check out my website here, how to become a motion graphic designer in three hours in After Effects. That's at bringyourlaptop.com. All right, I'll see you over there.